Hey what's going on everyone and this time I want to make the video about the airdrop feature which is a great thing you know what it is and as you probably know every iDevice has its name in the airdrop section and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can change it so let's get started with this video right now. It is actually pretty simple because you're not able to find it in the airdrop settings or anything like that. What you have to do is to change the name of the entire device. And on the iPhone and iPad and on the MacBook it's actually very simple because you can just change the name. On the iPhone you have to open up the settings, go to the general section and open up the info or about and here you can see your name and this is what you need to do here. You need to rename it however you want and this is what is going to appear on other people's devices and phones when they will try to send you something over airdrop. But there is also a problem because if you have the very same iCloud running for example on your MacBook and on your iPhone you will always see your name and then it is going to be followed by the name that you have chosen so it's going to be like your iCloud name name, your personal name and then you will have or it will be followed by the name that you have chosen for your iPhone. So you don't have that big of a control over that if you are using the very same iCloud. But uh, I would say that it is even better because with the same iCloud you don't even have to confirm that you want to accept some sort of photo or the airdrop sharing. Everything is automatic and it just gets saved to the camera roll or of course depending on what type of data it is being shared. So there is that. There are also other things that you would like to change the name of, for example, the name of your AirPods, even though you're not able to airdrop anything to your AirPods, but you can still see them in the Bluetooth section in your settings. So make sure to go here and if you turn on Bluetooth and bring your iPhone nearby, you can see that I have already remained mine AirPods to AirPods of Apple Fox, just because it makes sense. And here you can see we also have the name over here. So if you want to change it, you simply click on this I for information, but at first you have to be connected. So make sure you are connected to the AirPods. <clears throat> I'm still using the first generation of the AirPods. You could see that it was a little bit slower, but I think it is okay because they work pretty well. So you can see here you can change the name again, just like with the iPhone section and the name of the iPhone, here you can change the name of the AirPods, it's just the usual thing and here you can also choose and have other things, I accidentally closed my AirPods case, that's why I got disconnected, so here we go again and here you can choose what's gonna happen if you double tap your left and right AirPod, so I think that it is pretty useful. So here, if you didn't know about it, this is how you can do it. Besides that, besides your AirPods, you also have, for example, your iPod, in case you still use one and that one doesn't have a screen, of course. I'm talking about the iPod Nano or the, the smallest one, if anyone uses them still. If you want to change these and the name of these, you have to go to the iTunes and make sure that it is paired like a, if you have a device that doesn't feature a screen or some sort of user interface where you would be able to change it, like the AirPods, for example, you need to have another device which is paired and connected to it and change the name using that. Like I said, with the, uh, with the iPod Nano, I've said pretty much everything what I wanted to say. And if you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, definitely click on the subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss anything and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.